going. Alright, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Once again, welcome back to the Mayor's Cup. I'm Wayne Kane. Hey, we got an awesome game for you right now getting ready to come up. The Pirates, 12 and 4, 13 and 4, and the St. Vincent Indians, 4 and 11. The Pirates coming off a win, Indians coming off a loss. Just earlier, you seen the St. Vincent Indians lose uh, in the girls' action. So why don't we go and go, go run down the roster? St. Vincent, Joe Whistler, Trevor Lively, Darren Ernst, Jordan Railgard, Kip Snurbush, Jordan Buckett, Trevor Lucifer, Tyler Munier, Blake Common, Alec Burr, Luke Wibbemeyer, Tyler Armour. For Perryville Pirates, Jacob Robinson, Matthew Morgan, Morgan, McGravy Bradley, Connor Stark, Luke Splitting, Garrett Johnson, Nathan Nolan, Colin, Colin Steve, Eric Eli Tripp, Wyatt Johnson, and Ryan Nolan. Coach, it's Justin Dreyer. How about those cheering lane teams real quick? St. Vincent, Emily Christensen, Mackenzie Graham, Sarah Guile, Taylor Kern, Faith Grando, Danny and Preston, Jessica Arnold, Courtney Klein, Sydney Shabby, Abby Nager, and Madison Hain. Her Perry the Pirates, Kelsey Pingle, Lily Walker, Taylor Shamel, Abby Hoke, Caitlin Manley, Kay Parker, and Land Greeting, Madison Keeker, Mad Keeker, Isabel League, Hannah Hood, Katara Woodbemeyer, Phoebe Pullman, and Jesse Yates. And welcome once again to the Perry Park Center for this Mayor's Cup matchup between of St. Vincent and the Pirates of Perry Hall High School. During and after the game, we have introduced a good sportsmanship as fans and spectators, and we wish both teams the best of luck. And now to the starting lineups for the game, alternating from team to team and beginning with the Indians. Number 12, Trevor Lucifer. For the Pirates, number three, Matthew Morin. Folks, uh, I, I just want to remind you, you know what, um, last year, Eli Tripp got a monster slam dunk to help the Pirates go on to a big win last year. We're talking over 30 points, all right? Me and Jared we, and Matt, we all knew it about 20 seconds ago. There's a little bit of stat here. Joe Whistler had already told me earlier he believes the Perryville Pirates will win, and he's even playing. He's number 10 for the Indians. Who will win the Mayor's Cup? That's the question. You know what? The answer, I'll give it to you. About 20 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. The tip is off. Pirates will start off with number 10, Eli Tripp. Connor Stark, excuse me. Stark, see, dribbles, gives it to Tripp. Con Steve, excuse me. Johnson dribbled. Luke Schlichting's got that ball, he shoots. He makes it two right off the bat for the Perry the Pirates. This is going to be Eli Tripp.
Slick team. Now with the Luke, he's like, hey, anybody open? No. I'm just gonna take it in coast to coast. Luke Schlichting, the Schlichter, one of the fine state soccer champs. Who's going to get this ball? Who's he going to throw it to pass it off? He's trying to shoot a three from all the way from the, the marker. I think that would be a, a big three. Number 13, Trevor Lambley made a half court shot, made a half court, court pass. Snurbush. Snurbush has it, the senior. He puts it up. He can't get it. Indians have not scored yet in this game. Pirates, a quick rack. At this point, the Pirates will win the Mayor's Cup if it stays like this. Pirates have won two games. Indians have only won one. A Pirate win, and it's official. The Pirates have won the Mayor's Cup. SV is what the girls are saying, but they they could also be saying PBTV for our new for There we go, we got the pirate fans up there. It's time the cheering team to even get them pumped up. Dryer's like, hey, we're going to win. I want you to play good. Look of her. Shame. Toying to Snurbush. Oh, tipped away. Here goes the Pirates. Slickton almost had that. Coast to coast almost, too. He goes up to power out. Yeah, it's Trevor Lucifer. Number 12. Trevor Lively, sorry. Get, the guy looks pretty short from here. It is Trevor Lucifer, the 5'9 sophomore. Freshman, sorry. Lively, Luke of her. Here we go, this will be an easy two. Slicking already up to four points. He's got four of the six. Foul.
Schlichting. Eli Tripp, who we called on the foul. Whistler, the quarterback. Joe Whistler's in, number 10. There's Bruce right over there. Like he always is. Strix watching the cameras. Now I'm watching over here. Looks both directions. Luke Lippemeyer was the uh, injury. Schlichting for three! Yeah. Already up to seven points for the Schlichting man. Came back to him. The 22. You like trip. Hits the backboard. Good shots by the Indians so far. Well, only three points to share for it. Eight points for the Schlick man. Two away already for 10. 
Somebody is not happy, folks. Bart Bradley in. And the PP crew is at their best. Sean, you cannot do that. And Bruce says his voice is a little sore. Unlike these kids running around behind us. That was a good pass for Luca for a football player. officials are going to now talk about this. Look of her. Twenty one for the uh, Indians, Black Hellman, the injured Indian. Just made that point, or well, try to. 5.9 seconds to go, Pirates lead 15 to 5. And they can, they should get more points here. Calling Steve, that would be. Uh, correction of those who don't want your name to be spelled wrong, pronounced wrong, excuse me. So we played one period here. Eight minutes in, Pirates 16, St. Vincent Indians 5. The Pirate cheerleaders are now out here to perform a little show for you again. Hannah and everybody is. Well, you say we introduce them again. 
Kyle Sleepingo, Lily Walker, Taylor Shamo, Abby Hook, Caitlin Manley, Kay Parker, Marlena Green, Maggie Keeker, Isabel Lake, Hannah Hood, Sarah Woodbillmeyer, Phoebe Pullman, Jesse Yates. And the coaches are Coach Erica Stevenson, way down over there in the green, by this hopscotch. And um, Erica Stevenson, by the way. And then, of course, her backup assistant coach, Sandra Peacock, even though I don't see her right now. Caitlin is the closest cheerleader to me. In front of her is Jesse Yates. Kelsey's getting awards from her coach. Point, point, it's 24. You know, um, if St. Vincent would be making their three-point shots, they would probably actually be leading right now. See who can make the first three-pointer for the uh, Indians. for three. Luke and Burke driving down. I'm leasing a Ford, not Nancy. It's okay. It's okay. It's a backcourt violation, anyways, on St. Vincent.
McGravy. Bradley looking. So far, Colin, Steve, Nathan Nola, and White Johnson are Ryan Nola. White Johnson, Colin, Steve, Nathan Nola, and Matthew Moran, and Jacob Robinson are the only ones who have not gotten any points yet. I wait, the Pirates already have a 12 point lead. Tonight, we got. I think that the elect, the uh, heaters just kicked on. Eli Tripp with another slam dunk. And then a technical foul on Perryville for crowd reaction. I'm guessing. Making the easy pros is Joe Whistler. I'm wondering, hey, you know what? These fans are here, Jake. Can we get another one, Eli Tripp? What do you say, buddy? He was actually practicing for another one. Remember, folks, it came about four minutes and eight seconds. Right about uh, five and a half minutes to go in the second period when that slam dunk. Can we get another one? Eli, you know the fans. They're hearing slam dunk. Give it to the slam dunker. Thank you. 
Selecting with 11 points. He digged them. He digged them. That's going to be on one of the top 10 plays here at PVTV. Luke Schlichting's slam dunk. Luke Cover is going to bring it up past the timeline. Coast to coast. We're going to get two points. Luke of her should go to the line. Trevor Luca Bird will go to the line.
Nathan Nolan, Jacob Robinson, and uh, Matthew Morian, Wyatt Johnson are the only ones who have not scored yet any points for the Pirates. At the half, your score, hey, Bob Pirates, 28 and 18. Ladies and gentlemen, here now comes your St. Vincent cheerleaders. So get ready. So I'm going to introduce them. They deserve a round of applause. We have Emily Christensen, Mackenzie Graham, Sarah Guile, Taylor Kern, Faith Carondo, Dan Danny Preston, Jessica Aran, Courtney Klein, Sydney Shabbing, Abby Nager, and Madison Hain. The coaches are assistant Julie Lobby and head coach Sydney Elder. Now, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the loud music at the halftime show. Brought to you by your lady Indian chillers. We'll be back. Some uh, music difficulties right now.
All right, folks, you want to turn some scoring highlights? I think we can give you some. Let's start out with the St. Vincent Indians. What I have is Trevor Lively, 19. Trevor Lucifer, 6. But that is not. Luke Lubemeyer with 2. Trevor Lucifer with 7. Kelps and our bush was one for the year. For your Perry of Pirates. Let's see if I can get this. Luke what Luke Schlichting maybe with 12, 13? Gary Johnson with two. Elect trip with five, including a big slam slammer. Ryan Nolan with two. Connor Stark with two. Uh McGuire Bradley with two. That's all your scoring highlights so far. And several of Indy fans are heading for the exits. Amanda is also heading for the exit at the top of the bleachers. Did you get that slime dunk? What? Did you get the dunk? Did I get the dunk? No. Yeah. I mean. And Leia Green is down there showing off her skills. Actually, it would be Lily Walker, I think. Lily's down there, so that is Elena. Alana, greeting, showing off her flipping skills. All right, we are back. Pirates up by 18, by 10, excuse me. Have a 41 point cushion. Look at her dry boy in back. Dry kicker walking this way. And back to her right now. Look at her dribbling. 
Yeah, you see our booth is seafood. Trip for two up to seven points during this game. Luke Slickling went to go retrieve that ball as it rolled back to the garage door here in the uh, park center. Been a long day here at the Marks here, and we're just about ready to wrap this game up. In case you wanted to know, this started at 2 p.m. Doors opened at 1 p.m. Of course, I got in here about 12.30 to get ready for this varsity game. Right here on PVTV 985. A saw three by number three, Matthew Morgan. First points of the game. Jacob Robinson and Nathan Nolan and Colin Steve and Wyatt Johnson. Only four more on this high roster. The score. I'm going to say. Only three guys now need to get some more. And Maureen dribbles it up. He's got the ball. He's going to pass it back. Number 10. Maureen for a three, but he can't make it. All right, it's 35, Indians 25. 10 point lead for the Pirates. Pirate fans have not left. The only thing they have left is a little bit of trash. It might be Biles of Gay Raid to uh, dunk Ch Coach Dreyer on. Everybody was wanting to see Colin Steve get a dunk there. Goes to buzzer. Hey, 
All right, so we'll get Nolan. We're gravy. Number 10 tried to make shit. Colin Stark. Connor Stark. Look of her. 24 is looking. Bad away. Indian recovery. Even though it hit an Indian last, it will stay with the Indian. So I had to get cut with Cody and find out exactly why it's staying with the team that it hit last. Pirates have it. I thought that was good. Stark is up to four points. Number 11. Okay, now it's saying. <laughs> nice try. Gonna be a blocking foul. Perryville will get it. Look to be number 10. Pirates will take over. Ryan Nolan tried to make a two, but he missed it. Up by 15.
like I said during the girls game all this stuff would not be all these games here would not be um, made possible by without the help of Mr. Cook and uh, you know Mr. Curtis and President. And so green and white is your college tonight. Good evening. You too. Are you supervising? No, I'm announcing. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Here comes the Versman crew. They're done for today. Well, it's been almost a four-game blowout. Slicting for 16 points. Ladies and gentlemen, MVP currently of this game. I'm going to give it to him. Seven and a half minutes left on the clock in the in the Mayor's Cup. I've been at the Mayor's Cup since I was in high school, so since I was a freshman. I, I've been here for ten straight years, ladies and gentlemen. Out of ten years, Maryville only lost it twice. Currently. This is the tenth year though for me. So we're seven and two whenever I've been to a mayor's cup. Just a few minutes to go here in the annual mayor's cup. So. Been great enjoying the day here at the park, sir. Where else to be when it's 20 degrees out there and snowing, you know, it's raining currently, I think. It's raining hot. It's raining green and white, I heard. It's not snow, but it's uh, what they call green and white pirate of pirate colors. Because the pirates are up 42 to 25. It's pretty much, uh, Old St. Vincent would have to come up, up by 31 points or more. Se 70, they got to still get 60 points to win the Mayor's Cup. If Perryville doesn't get no more. I want to thank everybody for coming out this evening to the annual Perryville Mayor's Cup here in Perryville, Missouri at the Perry Park Center. I'm Lane Kane, and hey, it's been great being here today. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have with a Perryville JV girls loss. That was the only game that Perryville's lost so far 
And hey, you got to get excited at least once, you know. Twice, so three times for the Pirates. A slam dunk, a girls varsity win, and then a boys JV win. How, what can we give to you again? One more time. How about the Closel Pirate three wins in a row? Lake Schlichting now up to 18 points. Seventeen points. Look, what am I? I don't know to you. So if you're wondering who's going to come back from for St. Vincent for next year, when the Indians are the home team. They only got one senior, so pretty much everybody you see out here, except for number 22, will be the, everybody else will be out here. I wanna thank everybody that's picked on me wearing green and white this evening. All these sides of visit. Everybody's visited the cheering team, both sides. Hasn't vi visited up us yet, thank goodness, because if that would be, it would be in Steph Pond basketball, it would be calling it a football game or a volleyball game. Don't forget, folks, graduation will be here in May. We will have that right here on PVTV 985. The ones who are seniors right now were eighth graders back in 2011. In case you want to know, I was at the eighth grade graduation. You see my step cousin graduate, so.
Hey folks, the cheering on your team has decided to throw stuff too. We're throwing beads. Steve has six points. One, okay, Pirates are up by 19, ladies and gentlemen. The countdown is coming down to reveal the Winter Mayor's Cup champion. As you know, every year, if I'm announcing, helping out, I, what we got to crown the champion, folks. MVP of the Mayor's Cup, I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to give it to number 11, Luke Schlichten, with 17 points. Luke Schlichten is my MVP. Maybe some of you might think Eli tripped the uh, slam dunker. Eli dunker slam dunk trip we'll have a new somebody new for slam dunks next season That ball decided to visit Caitlin Manley this time. about ready to be closed out, ladies and gentlemen. Two and a half minutes, and I'll be announcing the Mayor's Cup winner. I can go ahead and give it out. Just looking at that scoreboard, let me give it to you. St. Vincent currently, 33 Harry the Pirates, 51. Indians want, Pirates want to take time off the clock. A minute, 35 seconds to play. Perry up by 21. ESPN. Yeah. Good. I'll go ahead and say this. 
The Berryville Pirates are Mayor's Cup champs. I will become Mayor's Cup champs. Haven't yet. The buzzer has not went off yet. Have kids lifting weights. It looks like they're jumping on the bleachers. Now going under the bleachers. Great game tonight, though. Everybody, fight, fight, fight. Victories sight. Gravy up to seven. That's what you want here. Victories in sight. Great job. Thank you. Yep. Hello, folks. Everybody worked hard today. folks. Webber, he's gonna close out. 
Luca first. Who's going to close it? Final shot coming up, ladies and gentlemen, of the Mayor's Cup. Yeah, and that's a wrap, folks. The Pavement Pirates have won the game, 55-35. Pirates go to 13-14-5. And, and, and the Pirates have won the Mayor's Cup. So long from PBTV Sports. That's a wrap, everybody.